Autolibs is AutoCAD's inbuilt programming language. Using Autolibs, you can create custom commands which will perform actions as per your requirement and will generate the desired output. If you have full version of AutoCAD, then Autolibs is already loaded on your computer. Autolibs don't work with AutoCAD LT. If you already have a Lips file with you, you can watch it using Visual Lips Editor. To open the Visual Lips Editor, you will have to click on the Manage. Then from here, you can open the Visual Lips Editor. Click on it. I will show one file in Lips format here. I will click on Open. I will choose the file. Open. Now this is a very simple routine to create a rectangle with diagonal lines. To load this routine, you will have to click here. Load Active Edit window. It will load the routine. And to use this particular command, you will have to give this command. Command name is always there after the C colon. So this new rect command is added which will create rectangle with diagonal lines. To give the command, suppose we will give rect, enter. Then it will ask for the width. Suppose I want the width of 5, enter. Length of 10, enter. Pick the start point. It will create custom shape as we have programmed in Lisp. Suppose we will try one more. Rect, enter, give, give the width. Suppose I want to create square, width of 5 and length of 5. Pick the start point. It has created a square. You can again click on Visual Lips Editor. You can watch the code. You can also load the program from outside Visual Lips also. We will close this file and we will start new file. Now if I give here rect command, it will give unknown command because rect is not loaded there. Suppose you have list file and you don't want to view the code but you want to load it for use. Then again click on manage and using this load application, you can load the auto list file. Click on load, then browse your file and click on load. So it is here showing that rect1.lsp is successfully loaded. Here also it is showing the message. But if you load in this way, it can be used only in that particular drawing. And if you want that that particular file should be loaded in each and every new file, then you will have to add it to startup suit. Click on this content, then click on add, then choose your path and choose your file and open. Click on close and click on close. Now if we give here the rect command, now rect command is again activated. And if I now start the new drawing, suppose I will click on new. Open and if I again give the rect command, rect command is there. That means it will start automatically every time you start the new drawing if you add it using this startup suit. So, in this way, you can load the Autolifts programs. Then, I want to show you one practical example that I have developed for one of the firm. Now, this program was developed for one of the gear manufacturing workshop. There, they were actually facing one problem. The owner of the workshop was having all the knowledge about the design of the gears and the workers were not aware about it. And uh, that owner was need to travel outside of the workshop for marketing needs. So he asked me to develop this program. This program is basically before manufacturing of the gear, you will have to decide the size of the raw material. This program is particularly developed to create drawing for that raw material and the, all the parameters required for that particular gear. In this program, it will give first the command G, then it will pass on all the gear parameters like number of teeth, module, module value, thickness of gear and all the basic parameters it will give there. And after that, once you have given all the parameter and given the start point, it will generate the raw material drawing and with all the parameters that is required for gear manufacturing. So in this way, they use the auto lips to solve their problem. In the same way, if you need some program developed for your particular needs, we are in the services of this AutoCAD programming and CAD programming. I will give my contact details below in the description and if you want to watch all other projects that we have done, those links will also I will provide in the description. 
So in the coming lectures we will learn in detail how to write these autoleaves programs and how to create custom shapes using autoleaves. So that's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.